Hi, Charlie. Are you working with the design crew? Uh, not this year. I'm too busy. Well, that's a shame. Your set designs are the best I've ever seen in all the years I've been sweeping stage floors. Thanks, Charlie. That's very sweet of you. But, well, my interior design career is about to take off. Oh, I got the job! Congratulations! I'm the new queen of makeup and wardrobe. Okay, I'm going to text Caroline. Well, I'm glad one of you's working the show this year. You know, Wendy says she's just too busy. Can you imagine what if Shakespeare had said he was too busy to write Hamlet? Oh, please. I I'm about to be promoted by, by an insanely demanding control freak. The most talented, successful, gifted, and connected interior designer in Boston. Well, congrats, Teresa. Thank you. And you. Look, don't you miss being a part of this world? Of course, but... Okay, let's not worry about this right now. Let's worry about you. Okay. Oh, Caroline says we have to go out and celebrate. Okay, let me glam you up. Oh, you know I don't like getting glammed up. Oh, you know I don't care what you like. Oh, Tessa, I don't have time. Hey, stop. You have to let loose a little, okay? Let me work some Nutcracker magic on you. You're not gonna dress me up like a dancing snowflake, are no, you? No, 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 no snowflakes. I was thinking sugar plum story. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lady gaga in me. It's a work of art. I look radioactive. It's called Be Wild Body Glitter. So feel free to be wild tonight, man. Yeah? <laughs> Tess, this is supposed to be your night. Hey, come on. What happened to the old spontaneous Wendy? You never have any fun anymore. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, come on, Wen. Let a little. Yes, you're going to be incognito, so it's the perfect time to embrace a little spontaneity. Okay, I will go with it. Thank you. Tonight could be a magical night. Mm. All right, ladies, it's almost martini time. <laughs> Don't you dare answer that one. I have to. Uh, no, it's Saturday night. You were off the clock. <gasps> Hello, Miss Hall. Uh, yes. Yes, I will do that. Yes, sure, I will take care of that. Okay, fine. Her flight is late. I just need to stop at her penthouse and turn up the heat and turn on a couple of lights. Yeah, because that's normal. I swear, that bra just makes up crap for the pleasure of bitch bossing you. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I have to. I will meet you guys later. Stop. Before you go, let me finish my work of art. Thank you. You have 30 minutes. Close your eyes. Hello, Wendy Walton. Yes, of course. I'd be delighted to decorate your Nantucket beach house. Let me guess, Snow Princess. Sugar Plum Fairy. Oh, Sugar Plum Fairy. Right. Yeah. So you with the belly? Not exactly. Okay, so what's the occasion? Just can I out with the girls? This doesn't feel right.
No, I'm seriously. We're never going to believe what just happened. Uh, what's with the flush cheeks, Wes? You are totally glowing, and it's not from the glitter. So I was in the elevator, and this guy got on? Gorgeous. And then suddenly the elevator started to fall. I thought we were going to die. And then he kissed me. He did not. Oh, yes, he did. And I kissed him back. You did not. <laughs> it was the type of kiss that years from now, when I am suffering from dementia and drooling in my jello, I will be thinking about that kiss. And the spark. We had a spark. I I've never had a spark before, but we most definitely had a spark. I really hope you got this guy's name and number. I got neither. What? You're kidding me, right? No. There were all these carolers, and it was just really crazy. I had to get out of there. But you know what? Girls, you told me to let loose, and I did, and it felt great. Who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter, because if we're meant to be together, I will find him again, or he'll find me. <laughs> Little ladies. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Who am I kidding? I'm not going to see him again, am I? You will. I know it. And, God, even if you don't, it's, it's really been good to see the old lady back. Yeah. Thanks, girls. <laughs> and the night is still young. True. Cheers to a young night. <laughs> <laughs> Which is? I have a very important lunch date with Adam. Your traveling boyfriend is back in town? Yes, for the holidays, and I intend to use this time to seal the engagement deal. What do you need me to do? It's Emily's day off. I need you to take her place. Isn't Emily your maid? She's my employee, just like you're my employee. Complete this list by noon time. Make sure the shampoo is Dom Perignon as indicated on the list. I will not tolerate a substitute. What is that on you? Oh, that's just some Be Wild body glitter? Tressa dressed me up for a night on the town last night. Well, I hope none of my friends recognized you. I didn't even recognize me. Get it off. I don't want it in my apartment. I will be at the spot that Ritz Carlton trying to relax. Guess that's the end of my spontaneity. before Adam gets here, you're a mess. Don't pay no. Good. Yes. Have fun. Hi. Whoa. How did you ever find I'm Adam. Darling, you're early. I just couldn't wait another moment before I saw you. Look, sweetheart, I want you to meet my fantastic assistant, Wendy. Oh, pleasure to meet you. Wendy was just leaving. Nice to meet Thank you. Thank you so much, Wendy. They're absolutely gorgeous, and I'm sure they're gonna match my satin sheets. Should we compare? Not before I officially get to say hello. Aww. Definitely, from all the months and months of jet setting from city to city, you must be exhausted. Yeah, I am. It's good to be back in Boston, especially during the holidays. Well, I hope you'll take this time to focus your energies on your future and make plans accordingly. I actually do have a proposal. Yes. Don't say yes so readily before you know what I'm going to ask. Whatever you ask me, I'll say yes, just so you know. <laughs> what I wanted to ask is if you'd be willing to decorate my house for a Christmas party. My family's foundation is sponsoring the City Ballet's performance of the Nutcracker. And I wanted to throw a some sort of cocktail party for the sponsors and donors before the performance. I would be overjoyed. And I would absolutely love to decorate your home for Christmas. Thank you. Oh, 
That's what the bummer vibe. Wendy found out who the elevator man is. Shouldn't that be a good thing? It would be if he didn't happen to be Miss Hall's boyfriend. Oh, you're kidding. And what's worse? He didn't even recognize me. Not even a glimmer of recognition. Well, to be fair, you were incognito. Yeah, are you sure he didn't recognize you? Maybe he did, but because he's blanking your boss, he didn't want to let on that he knew you in front of her. I think you should tell him it was you. If you felt a spark, he must have too. What am I supposed to say? Hi, Adam. I'm the girl you kissed in the elevator that you don't recognize. And yes, I am working for your future wife. Besides, how dare you not recognize me? I may have been all glittered out, but I am still me. You should be able to figure that out. He's a guy. Guys can't figure things out. They need things spelled out for them, like hooked on phonics spelled out. No, I just have to keep focusing all of my energy on work and forget about the spark and the kiss and him. Okay, well, good luck with that. He's out of town all the time anyway. I probably won't even see him. I'd tell him. You can't ignore the spark. I'm betting he's the one. Caroline, this isn't one of your movie scripts. It's my life. No, the spark is officially stopped. Liar. Why? Just saying. Eat your cookie. It's good to be home. It's good to have you home. And now that you are home, we have to sync our social calendars because there are simply so many events we cannot miss. I was really hoping just to take some time and relax. Just, you know, enjoy being home in Boston at Christmas time with you. We can enjoy being in Boston by having dinner with the Dostals and attending the gallery opening on Newbury Street. And we absolutely cannot miss Victoria Endicott's birthday party. Please, 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 please. I've been doing nothing but traveling and socializing for months. So can we please, please, please just focus on my foundation's budget for the ballet? Please. No. These events are as important to your career as they are to my career. Remember that trip we took to St. Bart's? Where we skipped out on a dinner event just to walk the beach and see the sunset? I remember. I ruined my vanilla blonics. That's all she remembers. It's not all I remember. It's just you've been gone for so long. Nobody remembers us as a couple. And we're a marvelous couple. It would be a shame if we didn't take our coupleness out into the public. All right, all right, we will go to these events. I was just hoping for more of an old-fashioned Christmas this year, that's all. We're gonna have a dazzling Christmas. I'm sure we will. Sure, fine. I'll be right there. Sure. You'll be right there. It's 7 o'clock on Sunday evening. We can't wait until tomorrow. Do you think I want to go? I'm sorry, I, I have to. I'll see you guys later. I received a proposal from Adam this afternoon. Uh, congratulations. When is the big day? Not a marriage proposal. Not yet, anyway. He asked me to decorate his house for a Christmas party he's having. We're going to meet at his place tomorrow morning, crack of dawn. I need you to bring a basket of pastries and coffee. Write this down, Wendy. Adam likes French roast, and you know how I take mine. Why do I have to work with him? Because we're decorating his house for a Christmas party. But what about all of your other clients? Shouldn't I be focusing on them? And you know, there are some potential new clients I've been meeting. Adam's event is our top priority. We're going to be working on it 24-7. All of our other clients are just going to have to wait. But, well, we can't just put them all on hold. This is a major event in Boston. All of the top sponsors and donors of theater are going to be there. Really? Why? Because Adam's family runs the Hughes Foundation. The Hughes Foundation funds theater and art programs across the country and the world. That's why he travels so much. This cocktail party is in honor of the ballet's opening night performance of The Nutcracker. Read a newspaper or something. I just don't understand why you need me. I mean, we have so much going on. What is your problem? If you have a problem working for my future husband, I can have you replaced in less than a second. No, it's fine. It is fine. Chop, chop. Hello? Wendy, right? Yes. Good evening, Mr. Hughes. <laughs> Please, it's Adam. You coming from Priscilla's? Yes. I hear she's decorating your house for a party the night of the Nutcracker opening. She is, yeah. I guess both of you will be. Right. right. My roommate is doing makeup and wardrobe for the Nutcracker. Is she? Theater is sort of my former life, so. Well, it's kind of my whole life. Unfortunately, most of my theatrical conversations these days revolve around finance, mm -hmm. but. I did summer stock in the Berkshires. That's why I designed my first set. It's for Midsummer Night's Dream. I love that play. 
Oh, what holes these mortals made. Yeah. Uh, Merry Christmas. Thank you. I'm... Yeah, I'm that way. Well, parting is such sweet sorrow. But I shall say goodnight till tomorrow. I do know you're Shakespeare. Why'd you leave theater? I don't know. The pressures of the real world. Chance to start a more lucrative career. Working with Priscilla. Actually, yes. Smart choice. I guess so. All right, Wendy. Good night, Adam. And if I could have my wish today, there's Christmas, please. to work at his house and interacting with him every day? Especially knowing that I know about the kiss and he's clueless. This is gonna be torture. I think this is fate. The magic and romance of Christmas is bringing the two of you together. This is not fate. What this is, is a golden opportunity. This is the moment that you've been waiting for while you've been slaving away in misery for that woman. You are going to be able to meet and booze and schmooze with all of the key people connected in the Boston theater world. You're so right. Mm -hmm, I am. This could be an amazing opportunity. I still think it's fate. How can you not? You had another elevator rendezvous with him. Okay, I can't think about that. And I'm not going to think about that or him. What I am going to do is show up there tomorrow with a goodie basket, a positive attitude, and a focused determination to make the very best of the situation. Just remember, fate. You know, if he continues to be clueless, I'll just crack his nuts. Ooh, this is great. I'm gonna put this in my goodie basket. Priscilla's not here yet. Please, feel free to come in. Great. Your home is amazing. Thank you. Oh, this is for you. Pastries and French fries coffee, per Miss Hall's instructions. Thank you very much. Please, come in. <laughs> nice touch. Nice. I thought you might like it. My roommate is working on a show at the Nutcracker. Well, that's right. Yeah, yeah, you told me. It's very thoughtful. That's delicious. Where'd you get that from? The whole basket is from Beantown Roasters. My other roommate, Caroline, the actress, she works there. May I? Please. You have Shakespeare's complete collection. I do. And they are well loved at Red. Is that what I think it is? Christmas Carol, first edition. A Christmas Carol was the first Broadway show I saw. My dad took me when I was a sophomore in high school. My grandmother gave me that book. It's my most prized possession. It's beautiful. Thank you. Hello? Priscilla, excuse me. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Good morning, Miss Hall. Thank you for the basket. You're welcome. So, regarding the decoration designs, do you have any ideas or thoughts? I don't, off the top of my head. But you know what Christmas means to me. Yes, I do. I haven't been home in a couple of years for the holidays. No, just want to make it memorable. And spectacular. Well, with you, that's a given. Um, yeah, I just want to see if you could bring back the magic of Christmas into this old house. Oh, I'll bring it back. Wendy, take pictures of the first floor and get measurements and take copious notes of furniture and accessories. You know the drill. Yes. Darling, let's have a pastry, shall we? Now, in addition to the theater sponsors and donors, there are a few important people I think we should invite to the party. Mm. Can we keep in mind that the priority is the sponsors and donors of the theater? Oh, of course, but it's Christmas, and you know, as you profess, it's you know, an opportunity for us to take advantage of our first holiday in Boston together. Wendy, would you care to join us? No, um, I'm still busy. I, I'm not done. She isn't done yet. I think there's plenty of time to take photos and measurements later. Wendy, please, I insist. Croissant. Thank you. I'm gonna go. Yeah. Okay, so. Do you guys have 
first edition of the Christmas Carol? Of course I know that. Well, I was thinking that maybe we could use that as the inspiration for the design. That is such a horrible idea. For one thing, the Christmas Carol is totally overused. It's completely passe. But the book has sentimental meaning to Mr. Hughes. This cocktail party isn't about sentimentality, Wendy. It's about impressing Adam's guests. That's what's important to me. And to him. But if you're hoping to turn into an engagement party, isn't sentimentality a good thing? Absolutely not. Neither Adam nor I have any time for sentimentality. Now find me a really good ice sculptor. Oh, and also some frosted trees. Make sure that they're color printouts only. So you never told me. Are you and Adam met? At a fundraiser in the Berkshires, I attended purposefully to meet him. I had a mutual friend introduce us. You had your sights set on him before you even met him? Is that a bit... calculated? Yes, it was unequivocally calculating. I was aware of him. I knew he was single. I was attracted to him and his lifestyle, which complements my lifestyle. Do you even love him? Of course I love him. He's handsome, charming, intelligent, worldly. He comes from money, prestige. We are equals in our looks, ambitions, desires, contacts. We really fit each other. Perfect couple. Yeah. Perfect couple. I have no doubt that this party is going to double as my engagement party. Come the first of the year, I'm going to be planning one spectacular wedding. With your help, of course. Mr. Hughes? Good to see you, Charlie. What brings you back here? Oh, I just felt like reminiscing. Well, it's good to have you back in Boston. Thank you, Charlie. It's good to be back home. I've grown a bit weary of airports. I never was much for flying. Drive to the Cape Shaw, traveling me and a Mrs. Neath. Tell me something, Charlie. How'd you know she was the one? Our very first kiss sealed the deal. She set my heart flutter. After 39 years, her kisses still make my heart flutter. I see you're getting ready to take the plunge. I'm thinking about it. Well, you already bought the rock. You must be pretty sure. Well, in all honesty, when I bought the ring, I was very sure. But now when I'm back in Boston, I don't know. I just I find them confusing knots with flutters. I'm not sure I follow. Well, knots mean you, you're just all tied up on the inside, which means maybe you should stop and think about things. But if you get flutters, that means she is most definitely the one. What happens if you feel both flutters and knots? And some of the recent knots could very well be caused by guilt over a spontaneous kiss in an elevator, which caused the flurry of flutters. I would say good luck to you, Mr. Hughes. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Charlie. will be forgiven when you see my designs. Designs? I was so inspired by Adam's home and his collections that I created a holiday design plan. I was up most of the night working on it. I mean, they're really rough, just conceptual. These are absolutely repellent. What on earth gave you the idea that Adam would ever like such a thing? His first edition of The Christmas Carol. Well, I own Wuthering Heights. It doesn't mean I want to live near a swamp. I am utterly disappointed, Wendy. I mean, these designs are just... And three Christmas trees, really. Who has three Christmas trees? And real trees, no less. It's completely dreadful and messy. One tree will be decorated like Christmas past, one like Christmas present, and a third tree will be decorated like Christmas future. And, well, I was thinking that the ornaments for the Christmas future tree would be made by kids from one of the arts programs funded by the Hughes Foundation. Seriously? This is a society party, not a kindergarten art class. Kids are the future. They are not my future. These designs are completely unacceptable, Wendy. Let's put them away. I am proud of those designs. You have no reason to be. Good morning. 
How are you? Mm, come look at my designs. I was working on them all night. Come on, Wendy. Morning. I mean, I, I'm so amazed at how talented you are. Oh, thank you, darling. It's what I do. But can I be perfectly honest? Of course. Uh, I mean, it's just not the direction I was looking to go in this year. I just wanted, you know, I was looking for something a little more traditional. You know, I thought that you were going to say that, so it's a good thing I came up with a second design. Just so you'd have a choice. It's a little bit of a mess, but you'll get the gist of it. This is exactly what I was looking for. This is, I can't believe how well you captured what I wanted. I mean, the whole, the three Christmas trees, the past, present, future, that's, I mean, that's fantastic. Oh, and the Christmas future tree? The ornaments will be decorated by children from one of your arts programs you formed. That's great. That's amazing. I mean, just the, all the ideas are so thoughtful. I, I love it. I mean, I absolutely love this. See, I totally get you. Yes, you do. I never doubted that. Thank you for this perfect design. I can't wait to see how that all comes together. I gotta go. go. Oh, I gotta yeah, go to the meeting. Wendy, thank you very much. Bye. That one great. Yeah, I really think you nailed it. That's because I did. Can you get in? Your design completely missed the mark. You're walking on very thin ice, young lady. This is my design. You work for me, so your work is my work, and as long as you're on my payroll, I own your designs. That is not fair. Do you remember, Wendy, that I'm the only person in this town who can open the right doors for you and your career. However, if you cross me, I will make sure that you never design in this town again, and the most you can ever hope for is designing prefab houses in New Hampshire. Now. Since you understand the design so well, I entrust you to prepare for tomorrow. We'll start implementing the ideas in the morning. You have five star skate. Now you absolutely have to tell Adam everything about the kiss and the design. No way. I can't say anything now. It's been days since the kiss. If I tell him the designs are mine, he will confront Miss Hall and it will be her word against mine. And she really will make my life a living hell. Like she doesn't already. Then quit, Wendy. Let her try and figure out your game plan. I can't quit. I won't quit. I can't have suffered this long just to start all over again. Besides, I want to see my designs come to life, even if I'm the only one who knows. Oh, my God. It's him. It's Adam. Oh, my God. Whoa. I, I don't want him to see me. Oh, s stop fidgeting. He's already seen me. Come clean with him, Wen. I agree. Confession is nine-tenths of the law. You mean good for the soul? That, too. I can't say anything, and don't you say anything either of you? Hello, Wendy. Adam, hi. Uh, these are my roommates, Caroline. The actress. Hello. Hello. And Tessa. The makeup artist. Mm, somebody was paying attention in class. Sorry? Uh, don't listen no. to her. <laughs> I was thrilled with the designs Priscilla showed me this morning. They were just wonderful. I mean, it's like she read my mind. Yes, they, we, 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 we were shocked by it. Shocked. Shocked! Actually, not at all shocked. I just want to thank you for being a part of it. It means a lot. I think this party's gonna be amazing. You know, Wendy here, she's an amazing talent, too. So gifted that she literally glitters. <laughs> Ow. I wouldn't say glitter, no, no, no glitter. No, I look forward to seeing some of your work as well. You already have. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Possibly. I have a rather crazy day, so I'm not entirely sure, but I should get going. The coffee's ready, and Priscilla's waiting for me. You have me hooked up this time. Very nice to meet you, ladies. Hmm. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye-bye. <sighs> you guys, I so get it now. You're chicken. I am not. Oh, you so are, Wen. You just said I can't say anything. I didn't say that. I asked you two not to say anything. Only after you said I can't say anything. I don't remember saying that. Oh, I'm not chicken. I am logical. Oh, is your logic white meat or dark meat? Oh, that's so funny. Isn't it? <laughs> I don't think it works. <laughs> How was your day? Oh, it's fantastic. Good. How was yours? It's good. Thanks for the coffee. Let me hang up uh, your coat. Thank you. Mm. <clears throat> Should I put on some Christmas music? Oh, please, anything but. They've been playing it since Halloween.
Good morning, Wendy. Good morning, Miss Hall. You remember my roommate, Tessa? Yeah, good Sorry. Good Tessa. What's that for? Um, the, for Adam's book. Oh, yeah, right, of course. Okay, let's put it over here. Wait, wait, that's where the Christmas theater tree is going. Well, if I want it here, it's gonna go here. This is my home or it will be soon. No, I don't want it here. Let's place it over here. Sorry. Right here. No, actually, let's put it by the door. Move it over here. Over here. Where do you want to Because I know where I want to put it. <gasps> This means, don't you? That the flying monkeys can breathe a sigh of relief? I thought you have a few days alone with Adam. True. Silver lining? I guess. Okay, let's decorate. We have so much to do. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm just sorry Priscilla isn't here to see it. Thanks. Yeah, we're making progress. Yeah, we are. We are now ready for the trees. It's the next thing on the list. Oh, the trees. You're going to pick up the trees now? Yeah. I like tree shopping at night. The holiday lights make it festive. You're going to go pick up three trees by yourself? I was planning on it. Well, I can't let you do that. Not by yourself. I'm going to go with you. No, no, you really don't have to. I can manage. Trust me, working on set, you get used to lugging around big bulky props. I wouldn't feel better if you let me help. All right. Go on. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh, bring us a piggy pudding. Oh, bring us a piggy pudding. Oh, bring us a piggy pudding and bring it out here. We won't go until we get some. We won't go until we get some. We won't go until we get some. So bring some out here. Oh, what is piggy pudding? I don't know, but it must be pretty good if they won't go until they get some. <laughs> It's perfect. Yeah, I'm sure they sing it for all the customers. Gotta get pretty tiresome by the end of the night. No. Christmas girls never get boring. You know, when I was a little girl, I used to go pick out the Christmas tree with my dad. We would go to Derby Hill Farm and ride this hay wagon out to a forest of Christmas trees. It took my dad and me at least an hour to find the perfect one. Seems like a Norman Rockwell painting come to life. Yeah, it was. Then we'd go home and we'd make cocoa and decorate the tree that very same night. Once the tree, which we always put right next to the television, was completely decorated, we'd watch holiday movies. What were some of your favorites? Charlie Brown Christmas, of course. Grinch. It's a Wonderful Life. Oh, and Christmas Story. Pretty special memories. 
very special. Yes, I think it's perfect. You know, tonight's the first time I ever shopped for a Christmas tree. You're kidding. <clears throat> no. Christmas trees just sort of arrived at my house. Uh, my father traveled a lot, my mother was always busy, and Christmas just sort of happened without a lot of fanfare or personal touch. Except for my grandmother. My grandmother, she made it very special. She's so... No, no. She passed away about 15 years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. I still think about her a lot, though. I mean, she really was the one that kept my family. So, how did you become involved in theater? Oh. <clears throat> in high school, I wanted to be an actor. So I was in the drama club, and I memorized the entire famous Hamlet soliloquy. So when I'm done with the speech, uh, the room is absolutely silent. I mean, it is, you could hear a pin drop. And me being so cocky proud, I think it's because I absolutely just nailed this thing. I just killed it. It's great. And after... What seemed like an eternity, the teacher responds and she says, Adam, you do realize that Hamlet's contemplating suicide <laughs> in this speech, right? So <clears throat> I stuck to working backstage. <clears throat> and I loved every minute of it. Oh, Tressa, Caroline, hi. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Howdy, Adam. How are you? <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Tressa, Caroline, hi. please uh, have a seat. Okay. Can I treat you to a uh, cannoli? Oh, I made those this morning. Do you often eat your work? I like licking the spoon. Caroline actually has that listed as one of her activities on Facebook. She gets some pretty strange friend requests from it. Yeah. Well, we were just telling stories of Christmas past. Ooh. Okay. Have you dug up any old ghosts? Um. Uh, as a matter of fact, we have. Yeah. Oh, a few. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you guys. Yes, the Christmas past and present ornaments arrived. The kids are making the ornaments for the future tree today, and they'll be delivered tomorrow. Christmas future arrives tomorrow. Yes, but what happens when tomorrow turns into the present and the future arrives? Okay, yeah, okay. Stephen Hawking. I'm surprised. Figgy pudding. How did you find figgy pudding? It wasn't easy, trust me. It doesn't even look like pudding. It looks god awful. Yeah. You first. No, no, oh, ladies, first, please. Gentlemen, what did I say? <coughs> no, didn't bother to go up. Mmm. I prefer fruitcake. Yes, I will be sticking with Fig Newtons. Thank you, though, for the interesting experience. Um, I have to get to work on the Christmas pastry. Do you want to help? A Christmas kiss I won't soon forget The night when we collided oh, I can see this I'm on yeah, the right right But I can't oh, never there. play with fire oh, right. The fact yeah. that you exist is my emotion The flames you get is higher Right? Right, right here <laughs> Christmas um, time is here on the other side. I want to be with you this time yeah. of year Celebrate good oh, times It's thanks. Christmas time Only happens once a year Grandmother would have loved this one. She would have loved this whole design. She always made Christmas so warm and homey. Not exactly an easy feat in a huge household. Yeah. She bought me that Dickens book, The Christmas Before She Passed Away. Yeah. It was like a gift from the Magi. Because she really had nothing. You sold the family heirloom to buy that for me. Hugh's family has unlimited resources and could have bought that book a hundred times over. And yet she felt the need to spend her own money on it. For me. I could tell how special the book was to you when we first visited. So. 
I'm really glad you're happy with the design. Yes. Yeah, I was a little surprised that Priscilla picked up on that. You know, because sometimes I don't think we quite see eye to eye. So. Well, then she comes up with something like this. Adam, I am... Um... I need to tell you that I... Oh, excuse me. It's Priscilla. Excuse me. Priscilla, hey. Yeah, we were just talking about you. Inspired, isn't it? I love it. <laughs> it's kind of a little dark in here. I'm gonna turn on the lights. No, 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 not yet. I've rigged all the lights to this remote, so all you have to do is press this one button and. Merry Christmas. <sighs> there is a light in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. It's amazing. Come, come see the book. That is so special and perfect. Can I take you out to dinner to thank you for all your hard work? Sure, yeah. They don't serve pizza and beer at the social events I have to attend. The cast party is where I get to enjoy my pizza and beer. Are you going to the cast party after the Nutcracker opening? I don't know. It'd be a very big night for me. Let me see. I got it. I was thinking of proposing. Can this all? What do you think? I think it's beautiful. Um, but it's not really Miss Hall. Really? Yeah, it's too traditional. She's much more contemporary. Hmm. I bought it in Milan. And when I bought it, I was completely convinced that we were supposed to be together. Then when I got back to Boston, I couldn't decide whether I was feeling knots or flutters. Uh, see, the other night, I definitely felt a flutter. You felt a flutter? Yes, I did, and it wasn't with Priscilla. So I didn't know whether I was feeling knots or flutters about Priscilla, and I thought I was feeling knots, but actually I was feeling flutters, so I'm feeling flutters. I'm not sure I know what you mean. Right, that's <laughs> because it's my friend Charlie talking. Uh, Priscilla's designs, when I saw those, and the love and the sentimentality that she had put into those, then I knew. Their designs convinced you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, they did. <laughs> well, uh, did you want anything else? No, no, no. Um, yeah, check, please. Thank you. Isabella, measure for measure. Cordelia, King Lear. And then, but then there's still Portia. I mean, it just kind of goes on and on. <laughs> That reminds me of the sleigh ride in Priscilla's design. Oh. I love how she incorporated something so romantic. Maybe I should propose to her on a carriage ride, what do you think? I'm not sure. I mean, I think she'd like something a little bit more flashy. No. No, really? You I think that'd be perfect. Would you take a ride with me? I just want to take a test run and see if it's the right place to ask it. I don't know. I mean... Come on, it'll be fun. May we go for a ride? For 25 bucks, you can. Oh, thank you. There you go. Okay. Uh, here. Uh, you two all snuggly? Yes, thank you. Dashing through the snow On a white horse offing sleigh O'er the fields we go Laughing all the way
you two lovebirds doing back here? Oh, no, we're not. Thank you. Comet must have met with you in the elevator. A flutter is a spark. That's what I thought, but he showed me the ring. He thinks she's the one. <sighs> You're the one. The designs, the kiss. You have to tell him everything, Wendy, before he gets engaged. He'll be getting engaged under false pretenses. I did try, but you're right. I'm chicken. I could tell him. No. If anything comes out now, I will look like the one who's calculating. And it'll still be Miss Hall's word against mine about the designs. But the truth will be out there, which will only make Adam embarrassed by the fact that he didn't recognize me from the elevator. Probably be pissed that I didn't say anything before, which will ruin our friendship, and he won't know who to believe about the designs, and then I will have to suffer Miss Hall's wrath. You are imagining the worst case scenario, not the best case scenario, which is also a possibility. As possible as winning the lottery. No, I'm just gonna have to try and forget about him. Honey, you're gonna need a lobotomy for that. <laughs> oh, Caroline, go get the corkscrew. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yeah, this is Adam Hughes calling from the States. Um, about a ring from you guys, and I just wanted to inquire about the exchange policy. Okay, just make sure it returns my call when it gets back in, okay? Appreciate it. Thank you. ornaments won't be until late afternoon. Just call Adam, let him know. Hi, Adam. It's, uh, Wendy. Yeah. Um, I'm just calling to let you know that the kids' ornaments won't be until later today. Gosh, look at her. Yeah. She's so happy. Yeah, I know. The situation's so messed up. Why is she always falling for guys that are totally unavailable? You know what? Gotta give it to her, though. She does have pretty fine taste in men. Yeah, good luck for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> We have got to help her untangle this mess. How? I don't know. But you know what? If this guy breaks her heart, my cowboy boots will just have to kick his ass so hard he'll be spitting out my spurs. He wants to decorate the Christmas future tree tonight. Tell him when. I can't. Okay, guys, how many times do I have to tell you? I, I can't. Then be careful over there, okay? Okay. It's just decorating. Moving on. These ornaments are so precious. I mean, look at this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, having the kids make them was just a, was a great idea. Yeah. All right, now that we're done decorating the trees, I do have a surprise for you. Don't say figgy pudding. <laughs> no, I threw that out. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in honor of your Christmas tradition with your father, I have Charlie Brown Christmas, The Grinch, It's a Wonderful Life, Christmas Story, and uh, Muppet's Christmas Carol. Just kind of in honor of my grandmother. Wow. Thank you. It's a lot of hours of viewing. <laughs> Yeah, we should get started. Are you sure you're game to watch all of these? Yeah. Even the Muppets? I haven't seen any of them. None of them? They're Christmas classics. No. Not even It's a Wonderful Life? No. Nope. Are you kidding? I, I cry every time Clarence gets his wings. You had a deprived childhood. Yes, it's sad but true. Chinese takeout? Chinese sounds great. Good. 365 days a year, but just one day. Let me ask for just what I've been dreaming And if I could have I would wish today I'd wish for happiness of lover 
lover's kiss, a world that's filled with tenderness, pretty things and diamond rings, and all the joy that Christmas brings. The sick would heal the angry smile. I'd give to you your true desire, happiness for all mankind. This Christmas, please, I wish. This Christmas, please, I wish. This Christmas, please, I wish. Adam? Hello? Priscilla, <clears throat> welcome back. I missed you. Apparently. The shipment of ornaments arrived late, and we wanted to make sure everything was decorated before you returned. I'll be leaving now. Please do. Thank you, Wendy, for all your help. Goodbye, Adam. Have you back? You smell like cheap takeout. Priscilla, don't be upset. Certainly not gonna happen. The thought never crossed my mind. She's my assistant. Uh, I'm gonna take a shower. Hello. Mr. Hughes isn't available. Can I take a message? He called inquiring about the ring's return policy. I'll give him the message. Darling, you look refreshed. I thought about us the entire time I was gone. I've been thinking a great deal about us as well. And there's something I need to talk to you about. So I have a little time before my board meeting, if you want. No, no, I, you go on ahead. I need to clean up this mess. There's just so much to do before the party. Talk about it when I get back then. Hello, Miss Hall? Get back over to Adam's house right away. Yes, Miss Hall. Adam certainly missed me. So much so that he couldn't wait to ask me to marry him. You asked you to marry him? Right here next to your sentimental Christmas future tree. How fitting. Yes, it is. Congratulations. When you're done cleaning up here, you are done for good. You're fired. You're not welcome here, and don't even think about attending Adam's party. I trusted you, Wendy. I thought you had talent. What do you do? You betray me. No. Miss Hall, nothing happened between me and Adam. He loves you. You're the one that he asked to marry. You had your little time with him. I don't want to hear it. And if you attempt to make any contact with him in the future, I will make good on my original threat. You will never work in this town again. Now clean this up.
my fault. It's not your fault. Yes. No, it's not. Yes, I am the one who agreed to spend all that time with him. The, the tree shopping and the carriage ride and the Christmas movies. Now it just hurts more than if I had stuck to the original plan and avoided him. And why did I ever let myself come up with those designs? Stop. Because you are a gifted designer and those ideas came from your heart. He should know that after spending all that time with you and then with her, there's no contest, Wendy. You rock, she sucks. She's the one who gets to live happily ever after with him? No, I doubt that. There won't be anything happy about that relationship at all. Okay. Here. Come to the theater, take your mind off of it. Wendy. I fell in love with him. I know. I'm sorry. Did it hurt? I know it does. Come here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, I'd like to speak to someone in your lifestyle section. I wanted to let you know that I have it on good authority that Adam Hughes's cocktail party on Saturday night will also serve as his engagement party. Yes, to Priscilla Hall. You should have a photo of the couple on file. Look back at the last season of the Boston Pops. Great. Just consider me a very good friend of the couples. Well, hey there, Mr. Hughes. Hello, Charlie. Well, you look like the weight of the world's been lifted off your shoulders. You know, I think it has. Decided to return the ring. You got the knots and the flutters all sorted out then? Yes, Charlie, I believe I have. <laughs> Darling, I'm so glad you're home. We need to talk. We most certainly do. Me first. I've had the most horrible day. Wendy quit this morning. She said that over the last few days, she realized she doesn't want to be a part of our world. When you quit. Yes. At least she wished us well. She said we make the most perfect couple, which of course we do. She's gone. For good. She won't even be attending our party, which I see is also going to serve as our engagement party. Yes, yes, darling. I will marry you. I will absolutely you, Priscilla, marry you. I, just hold on a second. I know the I ring isn't perfect, but we can get it reset. I love it. I absolutely love it. And it proves to me that you know how much I love you and that you love me too. We're going to be so happy together. So Don't just, speak. Just... Let's remember the passion and connection we had as we traveled the world together. We can have that here in Boston. And if you want to cancel all of our social engagements so that we can be together, just the two of us, nothing would make me happier. Professor, what is wrong with Wendy? It's that jerk, Adam. He's too stupid to realize that he's in love with her, and so he's gone and got himself engaged to that penthouse witch. Well, now that is strange. Because he told me he had a flutter on an elevator and wasn't planning on getting married. Get out of town. I would if I didn't live here. That is what he told me. That is so messed up. We've got to do something. Well, you can count me in. 
Is it really necessary? Yes, it is absolutely necessary. I'm not gonna let you miss my opening night. Tress, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm not feeling very glamorous right now. It'll make you feel better. I doubt that. Come on, Wendy, we need you. Yes, all the more reason to feel glamorous, and I'm sorry, but I'm not really into it. It's not an option tonight. But I'm just gonna be hanging out backstage. There's no reason to be dressed up. Uh, yes, there is. Can we say after party and cute male ballet dancers? Oh my god. That is the last thing on my mind. Humor me, all right? Take one for the team. Fine. Okay. Thank you. City Ballet sponsors and donors. Of course. I never officially proposed. I think it's absolutely charming if it happened. I mean, that's just a thing. Nothing happened. Of course it did. You bought me a beautiful diamond ring. What are you doing? What happened to the Nutcracker one? It didn't belong there. I mean, th this is exactly, exactly why I hate living Christmas trees. They're so messy. There's pine needles everywhere. I love living Christmas trees, and I thought that's why you incorporated them into your design. Unless, of course, it was Wendy's design and you just took credit for it. Whatever work was done was done for me, instructed by me. What was the inspiration for the design? Your grandfather's book, of course. No, stop it. It was my grandmother's book. Congratulations on your engagement. No, Wendy. Wendy, it's not what it looks oh, like. There you are. Wendy, you look so cute. And I just, I want to apologize for whatever happened between us. I, because I really would love to continue working with you. Quite a talent. Just stop. You know, I regret that I never quit before you fired me. You, I didn't fire. You fired I did not fire you. She I think that was a big you. misunderstanding. I was under the impression that you quit. So that you could return to your, your theater roots. You know, Miss Hall? I thought working for you was a dream come true. I thought I needed to be a successful interior designer. And I got caught up in your glamorous life. But that was before I knew who you really were. So, go ahead. Make good on your petty little threats. Because if I spend the rest of my career designing community theater, that will be a dream come true. And you. You chose her. What is going on here? You actually believed she could come up with those designs. Adam. I have been right here in front of you. If that kiss in the elevator meant anything to you, you would have seen that. You're not the man I fell in love with. You two deserve each other. Wendy. Wendy. It's the truth. Let her go. Let's go back to our seats and get on with our night. This glitter, what is this glitter she's always wearing? She's, her face is like a disco ball, you know? Let's just... It's not just the style that's all wrong, Priscilla. What are you doing?
okay, so I didn't figure it out when I should have figured it out, but I gotta let you know, when I helped you out of that carriage, my heart was sailing. It's the same kind of spark I felt when we were kissed in the elevator. So I just want to know, can you forgive me for being so blind? I'll consider it. Did you mean what you said about, you know, falling in love? Yes. I did. Thanks to a falling elevator and a beautiful, glittering woman, I brought the true meaning of Christmas back into my life. I fell in love too. <clears throat> Happy 